All right, everybody, here we go. It's going to be our first video. We're going to flute this barrel. I don't know. I've never seen anybody do it on a manual machine, and we're going to show that it can be done. Here's here's the setup. we got a little rotary with a chuck, a tiny little, I think it's 4-inch chuck, and it's toe clamped in there, right? No big deal. And I made this rectangle tube frame. And it holds the tail stock out here. And this is our barrel we're going to be fluting. It's a 243, no big deal. Custom barrel I did a while back for a guy. It's going to go on a Remington 783, but nobody... doesn't matter. Flutes are flutes. These are going to be straight flutes, not helical flutes. Right now we're dialing it in. So there's... The taper in the barrel is running parallel to the axis so that we cut a good clean straight flute in the barrel and it's toe clamp it'll be we'll put another toe clamp on there we toe clamp that just like that and that holds this whole little fixture down and then that toe clamp also holds this down which we jam nut or we just jam it with a bolt and this amazing paint stick and it pushes against the back of the barrel while we're cutting it so that it doesn't just deflect out of the way and we cut a cruddy flute. But anyway, right now I'm just dialing it in, dialing in the taper. When I get it ready to cut, then I'll show you how we cut it to show you that it's not rocket science. We're just cutting metal. No big deal. We'll be right back. Alright, barrel's all dialed in. Put a little electrical tape back here on the thread so the chuck don't ruin it. Seems to work good. It holds on tight. Then you can give it a hell when you're tightening her down and it doesn't mess the threads up, which is good. Now here, I can't really see it. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Probably not. Anyway, in there, there's two scribe lines. I put the barrel on the receiver, tighten it down as full as tight as I can. You know, like it would be if if you were on for good and then I put two of the base screws in the receiver and I put I scribe a mark on each side of those screws with a flexible straight edge on the barrel if that makes sense so that'll tell me where the top of the exact top of the barrel is so I know where to cut the first flute because I like the first flute on the top and then six all together all the way around it in 60 degree increments Here's the cutter. Sorry, the light's terrible. The light's better in real life. The camera just kind of sucks. But anyway, it's a side cutting type cutter, carbide tipped. We run it really slow though, and it seems to work best like that. I got it off eBay for like thirteen dollars, I think. I don't know. And then the arbor is the expensive part, but you can find good deals in them if you're looking. But then that goes. Tailstock goes into the muzzle of the barrel. It ends up ruining the crown, so I'll come back and recrown it later. That's just the best way I found to do it. And I got the paint stick back there, shimming the barrel up so that it doesn't deflect. We're getting ready to cut the first flute. And we'll show you guys that, and then it's just spin it. Spin this thing 60 degrees, easy as pie, lock it. Alright, here we go, we're going to cut the first flute on here. It's pretty loud, sorry. It's unbearable, but... Here, you got it? It's got a flashlight to help. See how I... There's the mark. There's two scribe lines in there, they're almost impossible to see. Too much light now. Anyway, I got the cutter to hit right in the, in the center of the tube. And then I got my hard stop set up. So I don't have to think about when to stop or count revs or anything. So I'll go to there and then I'll go to that hard stop. And then we're done. And we back it out and cut another one. So oh, here we go, we cut the first one, you guys can see how gnarly it is.
that is that. I have some junk and stuff in it, but show you guys. Uh, this thing won't focus very well up close because it's cheap, but man, how do I get it to focus? Give it a second. I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you guys a picture of it when it's all done, but that's our first flute. It's got some chips and some goo, some cutting oil in there, but they polish out real nice. That's that. First flute. Six, five more times. We're done. I'll show you when it's all done. Alright, here's the fluted 243 barrel all finished up. I don't know if this camera will focus good enough, but... Not a lot of light down here either. Give it a second, we'll focus. Nope. Well, this is it. Looks pretty good.